Hello beautiful people, how are you today? I'm in a world of hurt this morning, I'm running late, I can't find things, I have so many other things that I need to do, and I woke up half an hour later than I should. So this makeup that I'm gonna show you is to try and cover this eyeliner that I can't seem to get rid of. I'm a little bit tired, but it's also going to be quick. So it's only gonna take me about 20 minutes and it's gonna be quite effective, I think so anyway. So I wanna use a certain product this morning, but I can't find it anywhere. And that's like, I wanna use my beauty blender because I, I finally bought one and I was like, oh, it's actually not that bad. Poof, can't find it. It's probably sitting with that eyeshadow that I wanna use. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use my Mark 18 hour um, cream eyeshadow, but in this bronzy. I wanna use a charcoal. So if you've got a long wearing eyeshadow in a charcoal color, or even if you want to go a neutral skin color, that's fine. And I'm just going to use my, um, this came in my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So it's just a dual ended brush. And I'm just going to use the flat side of the brush to put this over the eyelid. So I don't need much, it's just like I said for the eyeshadow to cling to. But I am going to buff out these edges, but I'm going to use my Sleek Eye Divine palette. And I'm going to use um, these two here, so this, this orangey colour and then this brownie orange. And the reason for that is when I look directly at you, that's the colour that you're going to see over the top. Not so much uh, the black. And then just with the fluffy side of the brush, I'm going to put that through the crease and really buff it out. Now I do drag this out a little bit in the corners. Not a full wing, but just, just enough so that when I look at you, you can see that it comes out, out on the sides. Just gives my eyes a little bit more shape. Okay, so this is the Dior eyeshadow that I wanna wear. As you can see, it's quite a nice, um, charcoaly shimmery color but it is a little bit sheer so I just want to put a color underneath um, which is just going to be a black so I'm just going to take this black here which I ruined uh, one year for Halloween I went as I oh know for zombie walk I went as Mexican day of the dead and I accidentally put my face paint in it but I can still use this little bit of black so you know just get a black eyeshadow and we're just going to press that onto the lid where we put that cream eyeshadow before. And I'm patting it on rather than wiping so I can actually get more colour on there. Plus, you know, squish it, layer it so it's definitely going to stay. And then with the same brush that I used before, I'm just going to blend that into those orangey colours that I used. You'll come to find with me that if it's not sitting here in front of me at the time of filming, I ain't going to use it. I'm not going to get up to go get another brush. Sorry if you can hear my neighbour whippersnippering. So I'm just going to rub my finger in there and that's what it, what it comes out like. So it's a nice shimmery tone. And then just press that onto the lid. So that's a little bit more of a close up of the eyeshadow. So I like to put a couple of layers on there, really make sure it's packed in there um, and that we get the nice shimmer. Not too bad, we're at 10 minutes. I know I haven't done my, my foundation or anything yet, but because I'm using a lot of blacks, um, I like to do that last because I always forget that I've used my finger and I touch my face. Then with my finger, I'm actually just going to run that just underneath the eye. Not concerned if it's messy because we haven't done our foundation or our concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to take this brush again and just give a, a very light buff. It's pretty blended, but I just want to make sure there's no other sort of hard edges. I'm going to put my eyeliner on now because depending on the brand, it can sort of separate over this eyeshadow. Um, so I'm going to put it on, let it settle, and then if I need to, either put on another coat or put an eyeshadow over the top to set it in place. 
So I'm just taking my MAC Liquid Effects eyeliner. So just take any, any eyeliner that you like. And I'm going to make a bit of a wing. <laughs> then I'm just going to take a black eyeliner and I'm actually going to run that in the top waterline just to make sure that I don't have any um, skin colouring showing through. I'm getting a little bit better at doing this without actually having to pull the eyelid back. I'm proud of that. Now you can put the eyeliner in the bottom if you want. Mine just never goes away, no matter how much I wash it. If I had a skin toned eyeliner, add it would actually put that underneath just to open the eyes up a little bit more. But I don't, so this is how it's going to stay. Alright, so for foundation, I am taking my Nude by Nature Flawless Foundation. And I am the colour N3 Almond. I'm just going to take a couple of pumps of that on the back of my hand. And because I don't know where the heck my beauty blender has gone... My, I got to use a flat brush for this foundation. So um, you would see in the review that I've done about the nude by nature um, that I found I can't use normal brushes. Um, I love the Real Techniques buffing brush, but for this product, it just doesn't work. It separates over the nose. It cakes, you know, by about one o'clock in the afternoon. It actually looks really bad so flat brush it is the concealer I'm using my new by nature liquid mineral concealer I just put that on the back of my hand like always don't forget that you've got a dirty finger so use a different one if i had my as much as it pains me to say if i had my beauty blender this this would work much better but i don't so this is what we've got to work with but sometimes the heat the heat through the skin i feel just works the products better and then you can work them in together a lot easier take whatever's left just through the top of my my forehead. So what I'll do is I'll now just put on a mascara. So any black mascara, I'm using my Mark uh, Bigger Multiplied Volume Mascara. So let's do my eyebrows that I have not waxed or shaped for months. But you know, we just gotta. Fill in those little bits. Um, at the moment, I'm just using my Avon True Color Glimmer Sticks Brow Definer in Blonde. I've got to start finding new brow products to use since I can't get this anymore. So for color on the skin, I use my my trusty faithful BYS baked high shine bronzer um, just on a blush brush love this bronzer pretty much wear it every day um, and then I take it a little bit higher than a contour so it still goes on the cheek and still slightly shapes the, the cheek as well because I'm so round and I have so much cheek as people like to tell me that I still want to use it as a bronzer and a little bit as a contour so I'm just going to take it through the back of the cheek. And then I also take it up through the forehead. Not much though, because you're not going. To, you you won't see that bit when my hair is down. And then whatever's left, I take that down onto my neck. And a little bit over my nose too. You can use highlighter, but I didn't pick one up, so I'm just going straight to blush, which I'm using my Hourglass 
Luminous Flush. Absolutely love this. Um, I'm just gonna use my same brush. And pop that on the, the apples of the cheek. This is really nice just as an eyeshadow on its own. If you want a soft pink shimmery finish. For the lip, you can use any nude colour that you have. I've picked up my Avon Luxe in Lustering Nude. Oh, I'm so sad that I won't be able to buy this anymore. First lipstick that I actually used all the way down to the end and I need another one now. Just realised I haven't even, I'm not even dressed yet. I'm not even in work clothes. Oh. All right, let's try and do something with this hair and I'll be back just to show you the finished look. So the hair's not working for me either today and I can see it just going back up in a ponytail at the end of the day. But this is the final look. Um, nice, quick, we've actually made it on time. I've got like four minutes to spare to actually get my lunch together, pack all my crap up and leave. Um, I'll go in a little bit closer so you can see. So it's a little bit smudgy, a little bit grungy, but I love that. Um, throughout the day, it will move on my eyelids because I am quite oily through through the T-zone and through my eyelids. But I like that. But it, with the Dior eyeshadow, it's really easy just to, you know, smudge it again with your finger, touch it up, and away you go. So as usual, don't forget to let me know of any looks or products that you want to see in the comments. I'll link in the video for the New By Nature Foundation review as well. Um, and then as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell to get notifications for new uploads. And have a great day, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.